Right, we're on. Today we're talking about a move that Ben Hogan does. He does not load his right side, he does not get his chest over his right leg, he does get his right hip nice and deep, but there's not a huge shift of weight away from the golf ball in order to push it back through impact. Does that make sense? He's not really transferring weight away from the golf ball, away from the target, to get that through. He stays much more centred, much more on top of the golf ball. That's today's topic. So Hogan would address the ball as any other golfer would. Hogan addressed the ball, but you'll notice that when Hogan takes his club back by getting lined with the camera, so he takes club back, left hip's here. As Hogan takes the club back, his left hip doesn't really move away from that line. He doesn't stack himself on top of the right leg in order to give himself something to get back to the golf ball. He's very much centred over the shot. You'll be able to see from some of these images that there's not much movement of the left hip. The left hip actually goes a little bit further forward towards target or certainly stays centred. It definitely doesn't move away from the golf ball. This puts him in a position where he's much more centred over the ball. He can get a ball turf strike from that. I mean, it is hard to push your weight back towards target when so much of it's on your right foot. So if you take the club back and there's so much weight goes onto the right foot, it's very hard to move all this mass, the mass of the head, the mass of the body, back over to get into impact, then onto the left side to open up to play a golf shot. So Hogan obviously realised that. Hogan took his address position, got to the top of his swing, his left hip stayed in line with where it was, but his right hip did go deep. His right hip would go deep behind him, so turning away behind him, which kept the left hip nice and still. So he got to there, you'd notice his left leg looks quite, sorry, his right leg looks quite straight at the top of the backswing. It's not really straight, there is some flex there, but I guess back in the day those baggy trousers make it hard for us to see that. So he's here, up the top of his swing, the left hip's not moved away from that line, he stays there, so he's more centred on top of the golf ball. Then from there, Hogan said he could fire towards target. So his right hip's gone deep, Left hip stayed neutral, or it's come forward, stayed neutral, or even a little bit more towards target. Then from there, he can really push, turn the body through towards his intended target. So he can transfer his weight through the shot, but he's not taking his weight away from the golf ball on the backswing. There, there, and getting through the shot. So his, his left hip does not move away, but his right hip goes deep. Right hip goes deep, left hip does not move away. That was a ball stuff strike. Ball stuff? It was a ball turf strike because of that. It was much more centred over the golf ball. Hogan knew this. Hogan was well aware of this. This is all in my Eureka golf swing motion. I'll leave a link below for the videos and website, blah, 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 all that, carry on. But that movement that Hogan has with the right hip going deep and the left hip staying centred, it's much more powerful. You can get through the golf shot. Your weight is almost past the golf ball post impact for the ball turf strike which is Eureka, well. So Hogan, dress position. Up the top of the swing, right hip goes back, left one stays centered. Doesn't move, does not go away from that line. Then from there, he's much more on top of the golf ball. It's easier now to open up towards target and get into this position to impact instead of being stuck on that right foot. So it's a ball tough strike every time because of that. Right hip deep, left hip neutral. Class. It's class. If I just do a shot down the line here, you'll see the right hip does go deep. So address position, my feet are left because of Eureka. Right hip goes deep there and you can see the right hip's gone backwards and then from there everything can get through and ahead of the golf ball. I didn't move laterally back towards on top of my right foot to get the weight of the mass away from the golf ball. I stayed on that centre point like Hogan does. Right hip went backwards, left hip stayed neutral, and then from there, the whole hip assembly can turn through towards target. You can see I've finished with belt buckle towards target. I've really finished with a good follow through position. The left hip stayed neutral has allowed it to get past impact, if you like, and open up a lot more. So therefore, at impact and through impact, my body is opened up towards my intended target with the club head lagging behind slightly. Classic Hogan move. Well, we may as well do one more while I'm here. <laughs> Go, right hip goes back. 
left arm below left shoulder in a Hogan motion, Eureka motion right hip back, left hip stays neutral that's easy isn't it? <laughs> Guys, here we go. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please do so. I bring content like this twice a week now. To everyone who has subscribed, thank you very much. Also to everyone who's visited the Eureka Golf Swing website, as I say, the links are below. Uh, thank you very much. A lot of good success with that. And if there's any videos you guys would like me to do, please leave comments below. I'll get onto that as soon as I possibly can. Thank you. Here we go. Right hip goes back, left hip stays square. And then from there it can all go towards target. <laughs> 